Okay, good morning, good morning. My name is Connie Nail. I'm a makeup artist with Saint Beauty. I wanted to hop on and give you all a closer look at how all this comes together. You've seen videos and all the things, but I wanted to show you a closer in-depth look at how all of it comes together. So I'm gonna show you a palette and I'm gonna show you this, by the way, is the poolside palette. I absolutely love it because it's iridescent. It is a smooth finish, so you can wipe it off great. It is almost sold out. The palette 18 size is the only size that this color and design is still available in. So that's what I'm working out of is the palette 18. If you fall in love with this iridescent design and want this, the palette 18 is the only size that this is available still in. It's sold out in all the others because it, it is so popular. We've all fallen in love with it. Um, but anyway, this is the palette 18 in the pool side, and I'm going to work out of this. I'm going to show you how everything comes together, how the tins come, how the eyeshadows come, how they fit together when you get them because all of our compacts come with a mirror in the front. I'm going to try not to blind you. They have a magnetic sheet in here. All of our tins are metal and they come in these tea tiny little tins. Everyone has a different design. This is Sunshine State. Our gorgeous, every month we have a, a lip and cheek shade of the month. This is Sunshine State. It has gold shimmer in it. It is absolutely stunning and it's almost sold out. But once you put it in here, you just slide it over to where you want it. But you can put them this way. You can turn them the other way. You can organize them however you want them. Whatever makes you happy. You can put them this way and then a row down here. Whatever makes you happy. But this is Sunshine State. It's a gorgeous lip and cheek color. So I'm going to leave that in here. I'm going to do a palette for you and show you how you put it together. I'm going to do my face. I already have my eyes done. I'm going to put the eyeshadows in here after I get my, my face done and show you how you would organize a palette as your colors came in. So I have those colors on and I'll show them to you in a minute. But I'm going to do my face as we go along. I'm going to show you the brushes that I'm using my favorite brushes. So I am going to start out with the detail brush. The detail brush is fabulous for contouring. I'm gonna do my contour first because this is like paint by numbers for your face. It is so easy. I thought I could never ever contour. I'm 59, I'll be 60 this year. And I thought I can never contour my face, but it is truly so easy. Anybody can do it. And by the way, these little tins, the one you're going to use the most of is your main highlight. And it will last you, if you do your makeup every day, three to four months. A $14 tin, three to four months. When you run out, you pop that one little tin out, order a replacement, and put it back in your compact. You don't have to get rid of your compact or anything. Just that one $14 replacement. And it takes so little product because these are creams and they're highly pigmented that this amazing little tin will last you for three to four months. And um, your contour, you take so little of it, it's probably gonna last you about a year. So that's amazing. You did such a good deal. But anyway, this is the detail. Looks like a little broom. So great for contouring. Use the little side of it and you just dip into there. You get just the tiniest, maybe just a little bit more, just the tiniest amount of that. And it's going to be four lines on your face. That's it. I'm going high and tight under my cheekbone. And this is going to create lift. I use a really dark color. And I've worked up to this over the years. I will not match you to this darker color. And then when I blend it out, you're going to be amazed that it's not going to look dark like this at all. So don't be afraid. I'm not going to match you to this dark color. I'm going to match you to one that's closer to your normal hair color. Okay, so we're going to do across the forehead, close to your hairline, underneath each cheekbone, and then your jawline. And this is going to help hide any double chin, any loose skin. These are going to give lift. It's like spanks for your face. And that's it for contouring. That's all you have to do. Now, if you have a rounder face and you want to make your face look narrower, put a little bit right here beside your hairline and that's going to create a shadow and it tricks the eye and make your face look narrower. Now, I have a wider nose than I like, so I contour my nose. Most people don't do that, but I create a shadow on the side of my nose to make my nose 
look a little bit narrower because I don't like the shape of my nose. So if you have a wide nose, go all the way up to your brow and that looks really dark and scary now, but I am going to blend it out and it's not going to look scary anymore. All right, I've got my contour on. Normally this would be in my palette. I don't want to mess up this pretty new palette. So I'm putting my colors on before I put them in there. And then I want you to see what your palette looks like. Okay, so I've got that color in there beside the sunshine state. Now I'm gonna grab my brightening highlight. When I color match you, you're gonna get to at least two highlight shades. One is a brightening shade that is like a concealer and primer, and then the other is your main foundation shade. This is your brightening shade, and I'm gonna show you where that goes. I'm flipping this detail brush over to the small end because this one takes just a tiny amount. I'm getting just a teeny tiny amount. I'm putting this here in the corner of my eyes in the corner here. And this is gonna draw attention to the center of your face and make you look more awake and more alert, which most of us need. We look tired, we're exhausted. And this is also gonna make my nose look like it's longer this way and just draws attention to the areas we want attention. And because I'm older and have these bags here, I wanna make sure I do not put this brightening shade on those bags or any areas that have a lot of wrinkles because I don't wanna draw attention to those. Okay, so I'm done with this. I'm gonna lay this brush down and I'm gonna pop this brightening shade into my compact. So that was the shade I just used, okay? Now, I'm gonna grab the next brush that I'm gonna use. I can do my whole face with one brush, but because I have the brushes and I like them a lot, <laughs> these are the best brushes I've ever used. They are so soft. And by the way, they do not have any animal hair. They are a synthetic brush, but they're the softest brushes I've ever used. They're all double-ended, so it's like getting two brushes for the price of one. My favorite brush to do my face with is the blush and bronzer brush because it has a short stubby end that I apply my makeup and then I flip it over to the fluffy end. This is great for light to medium finish. That's what I use. If you like um, full coverage, like a full glam, or you have a lot of scarring or rosacea or um, anything that you really want to cover and want fuller coverage, the buff brush is the brush you're going to want, okay? Another great brush is the 3D brush. That's a great starter brush. It has a smaller pointy end here. This is the brush I started out with for the first six months before I became an artist. And right after I was an artist was this 3D brush. So that's a great starter brush too. But now I've come to love the blush and bronzer brush. And you can save $10 on this brush by getting it in the, uh, the bronzer collection. Okay. So I'm going to start with this. I'm using this short stubby end and I am grabbing your second highlight color, which is your main highlight. And this is the color that closest matches your foundation. Now, when you get your colors in, you're probably going to be thinking, oh my gosh, that's so yellow. They're intended to be yellow because they make your face look like they're glowing and natural. It brings out light. But when you blend them and actually blend them, they look natural. Okay, so I'm just, you see, I just got the tiniest amount. You're not going to swipe. You're not going to dig. You're just going to bounce and get just the smallest amount. Sorry, I'm getting notifications. So you see, I'm bouncing and it looks a little yellow, but when I blend it, it's not. I'm not getting more. I have a lot of redness on my nose because I have allergies really bad. I'm just bouncing. I still have not loaded more on my brush. I'm still using the same amount here. I'm just bouncing it on there. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more. I'm going up here where I have not covered yet. I'm just bouncing it on there, making sure I get everywhere. And I like to do under my jawline because I don't like to look like I have a floating head. That is it. I've got my whole face covered now. I have all of my foundation covered on there because my contour and all blends together and makes coverage too. So. I'm going to pop this one in here. That's part of my foundation and part of my coverage. So I have all those tins in there too. All right. So now I'm going to start blending. I'm going to blend and blend all this together. And you're going to see the magic start to happen. I start to blend with this shorter end. I'm still using the same brush. And I start blending with the lightest color first. So I'm just going to blend just little dab, dabbing motions, just blending. And this cream is so amazing. It just blends. 
really soft and really smooth and blends together for great coverage. So I'm just stippling or bouncing and it's just blending together. This blends great. Now I'm gonna go down my nose. I'm gonna start to blend in this contour and I wanna leave a shadow, but not a line. And look how that brown is no longer that dark brown. You're not seeing that anymore. It's just blending in. And I've blended all that already. Now, I'm going to blend this highlight back into my hairline because I don't want to see this white line up here. So, I'm going to blend. Look how well it blends there. And then I'm going to blend it down with the creams on my forehead. Now, I'm going to flip this over to the fluffy end and just swirl it. And ladies, these brushes make such a difference. Look at that. So that kind of blended in and shadowed out my forehead because as my daughter says, we have a five head. We have really big foreheads. So this helps camouflage any areas that we want to make look smaller like this loose skin here. So this on my chin, I'm going to bring down, not up on my jawline, but down. Bring it down my neck and help shadow out that loose skin. And then I just hit it with the fluffy hand to finish blending it. Now, my cheeks is all that I have left. I've already blended all this, and typically it takes me about five minutes, seriously, to do my whole entire face if I'm not talking, but I just start stippling. I bounce it here. Look how well it blends, and that's made it softer, but I like to put my lip and cheek on before I finish blending. Now, this is nude because I, I like a really natural look. We have so many different lip and cheek colors, in fact, we have like 30 lip and cheek colors. I showed you Sunshine State. Let me just give you a quick glimpse and you can pick any colors you like, but here's some of them, not even all of them, but we have reds, pinks, corals, all kinds of lip and cheeks, whatever floats your boat, whatever you love. I'm a kind of natural girl. And this is, you can use a brush. We have the multitasker, but this is nude. It's one of my very favorites. So I'm just gonna pop a couple dots, and if you notice, I put my color a little further back, not on the apple of my cheek. Some of it will gravitate down, but this gives me lift as a more mature lady, and it draws the eye back to my hair, uh, to my hairline, so it makes my cheeks look more lifted. And then I put it on here, and I just put it on my lips. By the way, I have already put our lip conditioner on my lips before I started. I should have told you that to start with. Mm -hmm. Our lip conditioner is amazing. It's better than any chapstick. It comes in cherry, mint, and vanilla. The vanilla is almost unflavored or unscented. You can barely smell or taste anything. The cherry, oh, that's not lip conditioner. That's the nude, sorry. But the uh, cherry, is. they're both... You're not going to see anything is what I'm trying to say, but I just put the lip conditioner. There's the nude in there. So I've popped all those in. I'm making you a customized palette so you can see what yours is going to look like. Now I've got my lip color and cheek color on there. I'm just going to bounce it and mix it with my contour. Super easy. You just bounce it and it's going to blend with that contour. Then I'm going to flip it over and you can make it as bold or as light as you want. You can leave it at whatever point you want. I like mine a kind of midway, I guess. And then I'm just gonna stipple. And like I said, I like mine more back toward my hair, more back toward my hairline because that gives me lift on my face as a more mature woman. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to add Illuminator. Now, most companies call Illuminator Highlight because that's where you get a little shimmer. As more mature ladies, we and everybody, we tend as we get more mature to lose that uh, dewy look to our skin. Our skin gets more dull and aged looking and we want to add that back. So an illuminator just adds a healthy dewy glow back to our skin. So I just pop that on the very tops of my cheekbone I put it on the tip of my nose to catch the light. That also helps to elongate my nose. I put it on the top of my cupid's bow. And I also like to put it here on my brow bone. And if you want, if your lips are thin and you want to make them look fuller, 
put it on your lips because it catches the light. That shimmer catches the light and makes your lips look fuller. And then I'm popping that into my compact too. So I'm still customizing that. And then I hit it with the fluffy side of my brush just to kind of disperse it. And look at that healthy glow that it gives my skin. It just makes my skin look youthful and dewy, okay? So now I've got that, all my makeup on, except I cannot walk out of the house without my brows done. As I've gotten older, my brows have faded and all the things. So this is another contour color. This is called Shadow. I'm gonna use this for my brows. This is our line brush. It is fabulous because it has a very small end and you can do those defined brow strokes with that. So I'm gonna hurry and do my brows, hopefully before my internet drops yet one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna hurry and put those on because they make a world of difference. I'm just gonna underline my brows. If you have full brows, you don't need to do the top. You just fill in with the little short brow strokes. I have almost no brows left. Over years, they've faded, so I go across the top and then come back and do the little short brow strokes. And then when I run out of color, I just go back and grab some more. I'm trying to hurry before my internet goes crazy. And then I just brush it out. I need just a touch more. I'm so sorry my internet is being crazy today. I don't know what's going on. All right. So look at the difference that makes. And I can go bolder on days that I want to. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm just doing a supernatural look today. But I just go under and underline. And then if I want a darker look, I can do that. And if you, like, again, if you have brows and don't need to go across the top and just want to fill in sparse areas, you don't have to go across the top. And then I like to neaten up the ends and make them more squared. And then I just brush them out. Now this arch is higher than that always. So I always have to go back and build this one up and make this arch a little higher always and then fix it. Now, we have another product I wanna show you before I move on to my powders real quick. We have a brow wax that is amazing. Our brow wax, if you have a lot of brows, will hold it in place. All you have to do to use that, I don't have enough to use it, but wet your spoolie with either water or setting spray, rub it into here, and then brush it into your brows, and um, it will hold your brows in place. Then pop that into your compact too if you have brows and need that. All right, next thing I wanna show you is the second layer. This has a second layer because it's a palette 18. So there's our other layer. I would put the brow wax in there. That's our first layer finished. Here's the second layer. Our eyeshadows come packaged like this. So I'm gonna show you what they come like so you would know. If I can open it, I'm trying to hurry because I'm worried about my internet dropping again. Okay, so when you get them, they're an air packet here, and then they are in another little clamshell to protect them. This is Ginger. She's one of my favorite gorgeous shimmers. Here's another one. This is Tawanda. She's a beautiful pink with gold shimmer in, shimmer in her. And then, so they are inside an air packet, and then inside a clamshell to protect them. But I'm just gonna show you the colors I use today. So here's our Vanilla Dust Setting Powder. It is the silkiest, softest. Oh, let me turn them the way that I turned the others so it matches. Silkiest, softest color. This is our uh, brush cleaning tile. I absolutely love it. Use it every time. I use it between colors and brush the excess dust off my brush so that I don't get like this green that I have here or the brown that I have in the corner in my cream colors. So I keep that popped into there to clean my brush off between colors. And then these are the colors I have on today. I have on chai, which was my beginning color. And then I have on Angel's Landing, which is this gorgeous shimmer here. And then I have on 
33 because I like to match what I'm wearing. So I have on 33, which is this beautiful green. And then you can tell this is one of my favorites. This is Coco. She is a deep, gorgeous, rich, warm brown. And you can tell I absolutely love her. And then this is our, I don't have her on today, but I wanted you to know that we do have an eyeliner. Let me grab my brush. Okay, let me show you the eyeliner. This is our brow brush. I'm going to show you our eyeliner. This is a cream eyeliner. I dug in too much, so this is going to be a deep line. But look at that. That is our cream eyeliner. She's Black Friday cream eyeliner. So that is our cream eyeliner. You can even have your eyeliner in here. All of it. It's amazing. Oh, and before I hop off, we have perfumes too. They are in the Rose Gold Illuminator. This is number five. She smells like beach. She reminds me of suntan lotion with the coconut and all that. She smells like suntan lotion, number five. So these come in the tin and you can pop them in your compact too. So there is how you build it. You grab your favorite brush and you don't have drawers and bags full of stuff anymore. You have your whole compact with all your makeup, all your colors, your lip and cheeks, your eyeshadows, your illuminators, your uh, setting powder, your eyeliner, everything. All you need is your mascara and your brushes and your compact and you are good to go. So if you haven't gotten color matched and would like to get color matched, reach out and let me know. I would absolutely love to color match you today. More than that, we would love to help you find out the beauty of Saint and how to um, minimize your makeup drawer, your makeup bag, and how to get all your stuff all together in amazing compact like this. All right, let me know if I can help you. I'm here all day. And let me know if I, if I can help you with anything at all. All right, talk to y'all soon. Bye.